the manager of the New York Yankees. Pleased to have back here on the show, first time since he was manager. We used to have him back in the day talking when he was uh, with ESPN. He's Aaron Boone. How are you, Aaron? I'm doing good. How are you, Rich? It's been a long time. Thanks for yeah. <laughs> how are you feeling? Should I ask how you're doing? I mean, because it seems like everybody else around you is uh, <laughs> needs to look both ways before crossing the street. Yeah, we feel like in a lot of ways we're getting better, but um, getting getting guys back. We got Didi back, obviously, and and hopefully more guys uh, soon. But I, I'm feeling well, so um, <laughs> <Good>. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. That. I mean, the, I mean, obviously, sometimes you got to let uh, your smile be your umbrella. I mean, the the, the gardener injury, if you will, it was it just took this whole thing to new heights. That even even. Even thrown helmets coming back at you uh, could could lead to an injury. I mean, have you ever experienced anything like this before, Aaron? Um, I would say the amount of the the amount of injuries we've dealt with, really starting from spring training, um, you know, to really core guys and and obviously really important people to our team, um, has been has been, oh, you know, a lot. Um, <laughs> And probably more than I've I've been a part of certainly, but um, to these guys' credit, man, they've they've all and to our organization's credit, we we feel like we've built really good depth. And and whether we've had guys from from our minor league system come up and contribute, whether guys that we've brought in from outside the organization, um, everyone has really stepped up and and played a significant part um, up and down the roster in, in allowing us to to win games and um, we certainly look forward to getting our guys back but the the expectation hasn't changed and that's we when we show up to the ballpark we expect to go out and, and do whatever it takes to get a win and, and and that's been been a cool thing to witness that singular focus that these guys have really had each and every day. Well, I mean, is there somebody specific? I can guess who, but uh, I'll just throw it out there. Somebody specific whose job it is to inform you each time that somebody is going onto the injured list and, and that person now shows up at the door of your office, you're like, please don't. I mean, is that is that happening? Right. Well, yeah, uh, Steve, Steve Donahue and I have, have hmm. developed an interesting relationship. <laughs> you know, I, I look at him with, in, with squinted eyes anytime I see him and just wait whether I'm getting good news uh, or bad news. Um, unfortunately, he's had to he's had to bring a lot of uh, injury stuff our way. But um, they've also done a great job in, in bringing these guys back and getting these guys on the mend. And and we feel like we're uh, we're getting closer to getting more and more healthy. Well, in terms of that, and because I know I, uh, when I speak to managers or coaches, certainly in the NFL, uh, they, they prefer to talk about um, the successes with those who have played as opposed to the injuries and less that could be taken as an excuse of anything. But let me just quickly, if you don't mind, what when, when do we expect uh, the following back? Aaron Judge, what can you tell me about him, Aaron? <laughs> So Aaron's down in Tampa now. He'll start getting live uh, ABs, maybe even a, a, a rehab assignment uh, potentially starting over the next probably week or so. He's doing really well. He's been he's been taking full BP, doing his defensive work, uh, running. Uh, the injury's out of there. Uh, you know, now it's just a matter of how much game action uh, are we going to get him, and and so he could be, you know, he's getting close to being uh, able to start a rehab assignment. Uh, so really moving in the right direction with Aaron. What about Stanton, John Carlos Stanton? And Stanton is scheduled to start a rehab assignment tomorrow tomorrow night with Tampa. Um, he'll play two games there, and then probably go up with our Triple A team over the weekend, and then you know. We'll see how much more, or at that time, if we want to bring him. But John Carlos knocking on the door as well. And what about Severino, Aaron? Sevy's just in the playing catch. I think he's I think he's out to 90 feet today. So still building up to to the long toss. Uh, that's been all going well. He's been throwing now for about a week or 10 days, and, and everything's gone well so far. So once he gets back to, to long toss, then we'll start to consider a mound, getting him on the mound. And once he does that, then it, as a starting pitcher, look at it as a spring training situation where he's starting spring at that point. So uh, he's a ways off, but everything uh, – that we're seeing with him has been encouraging. And then last one, Batances, is he in the similar boat as so, Severino? So Dellen actually threw to hitters um, last week or, or a few days ago and then had some soreness coming out of that. Um, so he's coming back up to New York. Uh, he'll see the doctor today. All the preliminary tests look good. It doesn't look like anything's um, too serious there, but 
but it's certainly something that we want to make sure that we're, we're not having him push through anything unnecessarily. So we'll have a better feel for him here over these next couple of days. Aaron Boone, Yankees manager here on the Rich Eisen Show. All right, so you're a year plus into this. What, what has been the most uh, unexpected part of your job uh, coming out of the, the booth and after years of playing and being around it through your family that you just didn't expect in a way to be a manager in Major League Baseball? Um, you know, I, I guess the, the volume of things that, that come across the desk, um, you know, everything from from things that happen between the lines to, you know, things that happen that have nothing to do with the game because, you know, we're dealing with, you know, on a daily basis between players, staff, traveling party, you know, you know, we're 40, 50, 60 people that, you know, you do become like a family. So you, there's a lot of things that happen, not only in baseball, but people's lives that, that come across the desk that are, are all things that you have to manage and deal with over the course of a long season. So I think the volume of that and how you handle that is, is probably been the biggest thing. I've loved it. Um, and I, in a, in a way, in my mind, going into this, prepared myself for that. But until you really go through it, uh, it's hard to really fathom. Why don't you wear the pinstripes, Aaron? Oh. You wear it, do, you, do you wear it often uh, at all? Uh, every now and again. Um, uh, I, I get a lot of questions about that. So. Okay. Um, I, I like my uh, I like my my sweatshirts and okay. you know. But I, I'll I'll bust it out every now and then, especially now as it starts to warm up. You'll you'll see it every now okay. and then. Okay, actually, my eight year old asked me that the other day, mm-hmm. Aaron. I mean, even I get kids asked are noticing. Lot. Kids are noticing. My, you know, uh, people are just noticing. It's just I don't know. It's just kind that of was a big tradition. topic last year. Was it? And, and I, I ended up wearing it more than I think uh, people realize. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. So, uh, taking on the Mets, you know, I mean, it, it, 97 was the first year that the Mets and Yankees played each other in the regular season. We're, we're now, it's unbelievable. We're, we're now in our third decade of Yankees and Mets playing yeah. each other in regular season. Is there anything special about it still, Aaron, when it comes to I think down there to is it? because, you know, you get a sense that, look, in the course of 162 games, anytime you have something in the, in the course of the season, we go to London in a couple of weeks to play Boston, and that's going to be that's going to be a great experience. Um, but anytime you have these big series, they, these series that you know draw draw a little more attention, you, you know, obviously in 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 New York here, where people on both sides of the aisle, you know that uh, it means a little bit more. I think you can sense that. You can feel that. So I think in the course of a long season, anytime you have something that's, you know, at least a little bit unique that kind of gets the juices going a little bit, I, I think it's a great thing and, and a fun thing to be a part of, uh, especially in this great city that we get to call home. Aaron Boone here on the Rich Eisen Show. A few more minutes left with the Yankees manager. I'm sure you heard the news about David Ortiz last mm-hmm. night, and it looks like he's uh, out of the figurative woods here. It was just so horrible what what happened to him you got a good poppy story doing battle with him obviously you you, you got the better of the red Sox in 03 vice versa in 04 do you got a good big poppy story for me Aaron? no just just my you know experiences with him over the years um is, is everything that we hear about him i mean there's a there's a graciousness to him the the competitor that lies within him uh the good nature that he is um uh, he's just a he's just a really charismatic, great great guy, and and uh, certainly uh, praying for a speedy recovery for him, and and hoping that um, it is something that that he avoided uh, something very major. But uh, we're all thinking about a, a big poppy today, that's for sure. Yeah, I know it really was just kind of shocking. How, how often do you get the 2003 home run you hit brought up to you? Is it not often anymore? Um, how often does that happen? Aaron. Quite a bit, remarkably. I mean, it's it, you know, as as time go, has gone on, um, I, I've kind of appreciated it a little bit more. And, and and just just when I say that, just w- what it means to so many people, um, whatever again, whatever side of the aisle or wherever whoever you cheer for, the amount of intimate stories that I've heard in regards to you know, and as a sports fan, I can relate like. I remember exactly what I was doing at that moment, and the, and the le- level of stories that I've received over the years has has been remarkable, and it's made me really appreciate having a little piece in, in such a great rivalry. You got a good one, w- one that may be awkward, or that made you feel um, a little awkward that they yeah, told, so, they shared, <laughs> overshared in a way. 
Um, so uh, Ryan Flaherty, uh, uh, infielder, big league infielder, mm-hmm. was uh, was going to school up in up in New England, and uh, they were at a party. I don't know if he's in college or high school, but they're at a party, and they were on a second floor or whatever, and they hit the home run. It was a kind of a Red Sox fandom party and mm-hmm. they said they took the the TV and threw it out the window on the street. <laughs> That's how I got introduced to Ryan Flair. So I thought that was pretty cool. So the shot heard round the world knocked the television in a way out, 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 of, a, out of a house in a That's way. That's right. That's mm, right. Isn't that amazing? And your brother was calling the game, yeah, right? My Wasn't brother it? was in the booth for Fox, so that was crazy. Come on. You really yep. can, and you came in as a pinch runner as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Had, you weren't even prepared for. Well, I mean, how do you even prepare for a moment like that, Aaron? I don't know. <laughs> you just do. <laughs> you just get up there and you swing do the it, best you can, and you hit it. Hey, Aaron, have a great time tonight against uh, the Mets. Um, you know, I, I uh, being a native New Yorker, I watch every night on Yes with my my kids. So uh, I'm really enjoying the exploits of of watching your the team that you're putting out there on the field with a whole bunch of uh, players making the most of their opportunities right now. I appreciate that. It's always good talking to you. Hopefully we'll do it again soon. That's Aaron Boone, Yankees manager here on The Rich Eisen Show. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.